The following video is sponsored by Amazon. Today we're going to take a closer look at the show and tell feature on the Amazon Echo Show. Hey guys, it's Sam. Welcome back to The Blind Life, where I help you learn how to live your best blind life. This is the second video in a series that I'm doing on the Amazon Echo Show. In the first video, I talked about the accessibility on the Echo Show and did a quick demo of the show and tell feature. If you'd like to see that video, I'll have a link in the description down below or popping out on the screen right above me. But today I thought I would do a deeper dive into the show and tell feature, talk about how it came to be, give you some examples of where it might be helpful, and even cover some troubleshooting options in case you're having problems. But before we get into that, I have to give another huge thank you to Amazon for sponsoring this video. If you would like information on how to get an Echo Show of your very own, I'll have links in the description down below. So how did it all get started? Where did this feature come from? Well, Amazon knew that sometimes product identification could be difficult for the blind and visually impaired community. And in fact, based on comments from the community, they wanted a way to incorporate that into the Amazon Echo. So when the Echo Show came out with its built-in camera, it was the perfect opportunity to add this feature. Show and Tell allows people in the blind and visually impaired community the ability to identify products hands-free. The Show and Tell feature is incredibly easy to use as long as you know the right commands. The first product we'll be testing is a bottle of Tuscan Garden Zesty Italian Salad Dressing. How's it what am I holding? Let's see. It looks like FCV salad dressing. The next product we're going to test is a box of instant oatmeal. Let's go. What's in my hand? Let's see. Show me another side. If you need to, touch the device to reorient yourself. It looks like a Quaker product. I read the following words. Variety pack. 130, 130. Instant oatmeal. 160. Two. Probably the best place to use show and tell would be in the kitchen to help identify products that commonly come in similar shaped containers. This includes things like canned goods, jars, boxes, maybe salad dressings that all come in the exact same shaped bottle. But it's not only limited to the kitchen, you can also use this to help identify cleaning products. A very common scenario might be that you just came home from the grocery store with your groceries, or even better, had them delivered directly to your house. Either way, you've got your groceries and you're not exactly sure what they all are because they're all in the same shaped containers. So, perfect situation for the show and tell. It can help you identify these items and then you can use your own organizational system to put them away. And that's something to remember. Uh, show and tell on the Echo Show is not going to replace your already existing organizational systems. Those systems are super important and they work well for you. So absolutely you want to keep using those. This is just going to add to those system. Think of it as another tool in your toolbox. Okay, what about troubleshooting if you're having some problems? Well, no worries. You can have your Amazon Echo help you with that as well. Hello. Help me with show and tell. First, locate the camera on your device. Check to see if your device has a switch located on the top right of your device. If it does, your camera is embedded just underneath the switch on the front. She walks you through some helpful tips and tricks to get the best results with the feature. And if you need more help, Alexa. more help with show and tell. Here are some additional tips to using this app successfully. The best distance to hold your item is about arm's length away from the camera. All right, let's see what happens if you don't quite line up the product perfectly. We're going to try with this jar of Jif peanut butter. Alexa. What am I holding? Let's see. I've got it down nice and low. Try moving 
moving your item slowly up or down. Moving it up. It looks like Jif peanut butter. <laughs> she got it. So she gives you some verbal cues to try and help guide you to where you need to hold it. Let's like go. That. Read more information. Contains one 16 ounce jar of Jif creamy peanut butter, a gluten-free peanut butter that has seven grams protein, 7% DB per serving, contains no artificial preservatives and non-GMO. And if you need more help, I'll add some more resources linked in the description down below. The show and tell feature is available on all Echo shows here in the US, Canada, and the UK. Well, I hope you found that video helpful, taking a closer look at the show and tell feature on the Amazon Echo Show. Once again, a huge thank you to Amazon for sponsoring this video. If you guys would like more information about Amazon, the Echo Show, or the show and tell feature, check out the links in the description down below. If you have any questions for me, let me know in the comments. I'll do my best to help out. If you like the video, be sure to hit the like button share it on social media, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications for more videos just like this one. That is it for me, guys. Until next time, Sam with the Blind Life, I'll see you later.